Hello, and welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam, and I post bullet journal videos twice a week. If you enjoy bullet journaling as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay connected. Today we're going to be planning our month of April, so let's get to it. Before we jump into the April planning, I'm going to do a quick flip through of my March plan, my sleep and my mood tracker, my expense tracker, which I ran out of room on this one, so I made sure I had a little bit of extra space in my next one, my habit tracker and my yoga tracker, my brain dump, and my gratitude log. And then we have the monthly overview page, and then we're going to get into the weekly spreads. In this month, there was three weeks of the bullet journal challenge videos. There was psychological care, uh, emotional care, and environmental care. So I'll leave a link in the card so you can go back and watch those if you'd like. And now we get into our April planning. So instead of doing a watercolored cover page this time, I decided to do an ink drawing and I colored it in with colored pencil. The theme that I was going for this month was spring flowers. So I have daisies and tulips and lavender flowers. I had a lot of fun drawing this out and coloring it in. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of the colors that I picked out for the month of April and I posted that on Instagram and I ended up cutting out the word April from that post and added it onto this instead of just writing it in and it gave it a little extra pop. Now my sleep tracker for this month is a lot different than it has been. I saw this picture on it was either Pinterest or Instagram of the sleep tracker that I usually do and then they had a section for like their energy levels and I really liked this so I created a sticker set of stars to add into this for my for my energy levels. Um, so this is a lot different than what it used to be. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try it out and see. This took a little bit of time to set up. I have a spot for the times that I slept, and then the numbers are, are the hours that I slept, and then the stars are my energy level. Now I have my mood tracker and I'm doing the mood tracker kind of the same as I did in the last one and except instead of doing a line graph I'm doing like a bar graph type thing and I broke it up into AM and PM instead of doing one big one. Um, I like doing vertical layouts rather than horizontal layouts so I broke this up into um, the 1st through the 15th for the a.m. and the p.m. and then the 16th through the 30th for a.m. and p.m. By breaking it up like this, I'm hoping it's a little bit easier to read because on the last month's one that I did, I kept putting my lines in the wrong spot and I got them confused a little bit, so I'm hoping that this will be a little bit easier to keep track of. Now I'm moving on to my expense tracker and this looks exactly the same as it usually does except for instead of doing the vertical or the horizontal lines across the bottom half of the page to separate each of my expenses, I took my lightest purple marker and used that to separate each of the sections. It gives it a little pop of color and it makes it look a little bit more interesting than just the plain lines. And because I ran out of room on last month's expense tracker, I made sure I put some extra spaces in this side um, just so that I had plenty of room to write in all of my expenses. For my savings tracker, I switched back to this horizontal bar graph. Um, it's not as cute as the jar, but it saves a little bit of space so that I have more room for the expenses up at the top. And Zach went back to one job, so I was able to go back to my payday tracker that I used in February. And again, I used the purple marker to separate each of the days for the paydays and for my bills. I like having my payday tracker and my bill tracker right next to each other. That way I can see when I get paid versus when my bills are due. It comes in handy. Um, when I'm trying to plan out my week and make sure I get all my bills paid on time. 
Now I'm moving on to my habit tracker and this is pretty much the same as it always is except on the bottom I added a cleaning schedule because after I did my environmental care video I decided that I need to keep track of my cleaning more than I usually do because um, I have trouble keeping track of what I did and when I did it so I just created a cleaning schedule so that I do the same things um, every week that way it's a little bit easier to keep track of and the page next to this one is supposed to be saved for my yoga tracker Adrian hasn't put it out yet so I just kind of left that page blank for right now and then this page here is my brain dump page this is just where I journal um, when I need to journal I just I keep this extra space that way I have a spot to write out anything that I need to write. If you want to use any of these pictures that I am pasting into my journal, I will post the link to my Pinterest account down below so you can grab those. This last page is my gratitude log. I like keeping a gratitude log so that I can remember to give thanks for the things that I have each day. It's a really great reminder to just appreciate the things that you have. Not everyone is privileged to have the things that you have, so it's important to be thankful for what you do have. I'm just gonna add a drop shadow and a highlight to the word gratitude, and that about wraps up this page. The page after this is my original drawings for the sticker set that I created. Um, since we're talking about gratitude, I finally got a cry cut, and I have been creating stickers like crazy. If you hadn't noticed, I've there's at least five different sets in this spread already. Um, but that's the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below and I'll be sure to check those out and answer any questions you have. And if you're not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I post videos twice a week. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!